All right, so I'll be having to sneak out to do these videos. Excuse the haircut. I'm getting, definitely getting a cut coming soon. But uh, yeah, so I went to look for a ring earlier for twin and woo, definitely a lot of options, but she made it easy because she got the whole thing on her Pinterest. So she got a specific cut that she wanted. So all I did was show them the pictures and everything. So definitely made it easy. And I'm planning to do this next week. Today's like what, the 9th I think of May. So planning to do this next week over at her parents' house. They're gonna help me set up everything up. She has no idea, which is usually how it's supposed to go, right? Supposed to be having a get together on Thursday. So I figure, you know, that's the easy time to do it. I'm gonna make sure, you know, she's already said that she's gonna have her nails done. So that's gonna be easy. I'm gonna tell her mom to tell Twin that they wanna take pictures and everything. So they should come dressed, we should come dressed. So hopefully that works, but yeah. Stay tuned. All right, so update out of the house, obviously. So get to make another video. I'm going to pick up Bear right now. We got some haircuts scheduled today, so we can make sure that we're fresh for Thursday, the big day, you know? I told Twin's mom to tell her that they all want to do family pictures on Thursday. So that way she'll be dressed up when we go over there, so. She's not suspecting anything. She said something last night, like, did you hear mom say that they want to take pictures and this and that? Like, I must have missed that. I didn't hear her say that. So I had to be like, what? But uh, yeah, so on the way to get haircuts, got to be fresh and see you on the next update. All right, checking in again, update. Uh, just left the shop, as you can see. Freshly faded, felt good to get the clippers on the back on my head, cause I definitely needed it. Just dropped off Bear, heading back to the house now. Gonna be with Twin for the rest of the day, so I'll update y'all when I can. Talk to moms, we have just ordered balloons and everything, they'll be here tomorrow. Gonna hit up Marka, see if she's free and available to shoot with us on Thursday, cause of course, got to catch everything got to get all the good angles but uh i think that's everything for now like i said i'll update y'all when i can stay tuned all right so just finished talking with mom dad and bear went over to their place to finalize everything figure out how we're gonna do uh the whole setup for tomorrow the day is almost here so we got that all squared away before that I went to the jeweler to finalize everything with that, with the ring. I will be picking that up. So everything's pretty much set now. Now I just wait for the day and ready to pop the question, really. I think that's about everything set up. Oh, I gotta go pick up the flowers tomorrow. She loves our drangers, so I'm gonna pick those up tomorrow and take them to mom and dad's before I get back to the house and then everything will officially be ready, aside from the ring, of course, but it's almost time. I am recording this video because I know Jaleesa's gonna want this for her vlog. So here we go. Jaleesa's mom just called and said that Corey is gonna be proposing to her tomorrow. <laughs> so I gotta try all my cameras. I gotta get all my tripods. I gotta get everything. Everything together because, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. So it's happening tomorrow at her parents' house. And I'm really happy for y'all. When y'all watch this video, Jaleesa, I'm really happy for you. Uh, y'all are just such an amazing couple. Y'all are made for each other. I'm really excited for the life that y'all are going to create together. I can't even stop smiling. <laughs> oh my gosh this is a this is a good secret this is a good luckily i don't have to keep it for long only one day but yeah i'm excited to see how this is gonna go jaleesa girl i wish i could tell you to get your nails done but that would be you know 
the obvious hint every girl knows when somebody like pressures them to get their nails done and they got a boo it's like oh i'm finna get proposed to so i can't say nothing just fingers crossed that you put some press-ons on or something that's okay if you did it we could take pictures later <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so it's almost game time. We're about to head over to her parents' house in like 10 minutes. She has no idea what's going on. Gotta whisper, because I'm in the house, so wish me luck. I'm so freaking excited and overwhelmed. I feel like I'm saying I do after like a zillion years later. <gasps> Usa. <laughs> so, I've been up all night because I am not a decorator. Look what uh, she did, y'all. Corey who trusted me and was like, oh, whatever you do is fine. And um, shout out to Pinterest for um, making things happen for real, for real. It's like a, putting a puzzle together with them. Just follow the script. <laughs> and um, so I kind of had some issues. I was trying to find balloons. It is the pandemic. Big grown is here handling things. You right found now. a lot though. Yeah, well, these I got online, but I could not find a will you marry me sign. So I'm not artsy at all. Don't get too close and you'll see all the blemishes. <laughs> so I thought it would be scruffy with the vin vintage um, shabby chic. So the whole design is shabby chic vintage. And so I made it. So I got some. Stencils never did this before. Got some stencils, found some little things at uh, the whatever those little flag things are, and I actually painted them myself with the stencil. <laughs> Yay me, because I think it should be stated, Will you marry me? Like, not just assume it's a. <laughs> so, I did that, and then, padow, it's like all, it just came together between Pinterest and my sister, who is a Pinterest queen. Um, who stayed up with me to get it all done in Carrington. You know, I had a little backup support staff <laughs> and all that. But yeah, like, look. And this is really primarily at-home stuff that I already had. So, look at so you. freaking cool. Like, flipping the script, recycling some things, um, creating some things. I don't even want to tell you guys how I've got that together. But, you know, just... Go you Pinterest. did it. And I did it. And, and now we got 20 minutes. And maybe 15. I, maybe 15, but I just need her to cry. She gonna cry. If she doesn't cry, I'm gonna cry. She gonna cry because she has no idea. Are you sure? Because I'm sure. When you when you kind of know, it, it hope you don't cry. Who's that? Don't do that. <gasps> Lock the door. <laughs> and your own video. Why you do that? Why you do that? Add it to the family today. <laughs> Love that. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I mean, I'm happy for Jaleesa, you know. Um, wish him the best. And yeah. That's cool. Let's do this thing. Let's do this. Let's do this. So it feels like a lot longer than a year. And we've like really grown to my best friend over this whole time. And I literally couldn't imagine being with anybody else like this. <laughs> Thank you.
Holy mackerel. What are we telling people? Ah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. Let me fix the camera real quick. <clears throat> Just kidding. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you guys are safe and healthy and staying in the house and washing your hands and being clean and all that stuff. If you guys are not already, subscribe down below. Um, I'm a little flustered today, but we will share why. I feel like I have this big, stupid, cheesy grin on my face. It's a good cheesy grin. It is a good cheesy grin. Make sure you guys are subscribed, hit the bell notifications link so you know when a new video goes up. Without further ado, your girl got engaged. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw, and on Twitter, you saw the pictures, and we wanted to share with you guys how this all happened, how we feel. Yes. And all of that stuff. All right, give it <laughs> a second. We wanted to share how everything happened. I have my um, handsome fiance here. Ooh, my fiance. Fiance. Ew. <laughs> and we, we just wanted to, you know, talk to you guys, share how it went. Do you want to start? Let me just start off by saying, I knew absolutely nothing. You guys can see by the pictures, I like was flustered, I wasn't ready, I had shoes in my bag, I did not put my shoes on, I did not have my nails done. Yeah, we gonna get to that. My entire family knew, I had not a clue. We gonna get to that. They didn't even give like hints or signs, and you guys know how close we are. And literally like none of them gave me anything, like nothing. I didn't think this was happening until like later, maybe this at like end of the year-ish. Everybody keeps talking about my tweet that I tweeted the day before when somebody was like uh, me popping up on my timeline married in 2022. And all I said was sooner, but yep. I didn't mean the next day though. I did not know that that's what was going to happen and it did. Well, you could tell them, you know, you're part of the story and then I'll so, tag team. From, we'll start at the beginning. So, before she knew anything. So, this was probably about two weeks ago. I texted dad and was like, uh, hey, are you gonna be home? Uh, I wanna come talk to you. He was like, yeah, I'll be here. So, I was like, okay, cool. So, went there. Sat down for a little bit, had a little, you know, quick talk, whatever, just, you know, icebreaker. And then we got down to it, told him, you know, I want to propose to Jaleesa and I want to do it in a, in a few weeks. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I can't stop smiling, sorry. So, you know, he gave me his blessing, his mom gave me his blessing, you know, from Bear. So from there, we started our planning. Really, I wanted to wait. I thought about it like a month ago, but I wanted to wait just because I knew that she was so close with her family. I didn't want everybody like feeling pressure to not say anything. So I wanted to be like in the middle of. Yeah, and <laughs> mind you, like knowing all of them and knowing how close we are, I know how everybody moves. And even just as a woman, like with him, I was like, or with anybody, I'm like, I always say, I don't know how women just don't know. Like you didn't peep, you didn't get an idea or a hint or something. And I'm like, I'm into everything and I notice every single thing. There's no, I used to tell him, there's no way that I'm not gonna find out. He proved me wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I tried to make it like right in the middle where there was enough time to plan and not too much time to where, wow, Cooper. Mm -hmm. Not too much time to where, you know, everybody be feeling antsy and like, oh, I have to tell her, I have to tell her, like I can't hold it anymore. You gave so, mom just enough time. Yeah, she, she, was, was, she was on the verge of just like, He's about to propose. <laughs> <laughs> so we started planning that day. And when I say like, I was really just waiting, not last minute, but I went to get the ring. So today is a, what's today? Friday? Today is Friday. So yeah, I did this like last Friday. I went to go get the ring last Friday. We really started planning. Mom might've started a little earlier, but I did the ring last Friday. I went to do, finishing touches and everything, make, picking it out like the exact the exact one. I did that on 
Wednesday. What did you feel like picking out the ring? What was that like? It was tough and easy at the same time as far as knowing what she wanted and like a specific cut. I told just you ladies. Of the, <laughs> just because of Pinterest, she the had Pinterest a Pinterest board. board. I had a Pinterest board that I actually shared with him like when we first started dating. I was just like, oh, you know, because when we were like dating, I was saying how like, you know, I'm a gift giver, blah, blah, blah. And what I have for myself, I have like a Pinterest board where I have like, you know, different bags and shoes and stuff that I want. And I just add it to a wish list so that when I get some extra money or when I feel like I want to treat myself, I can go to something that I've been wanting, not just like spurging on something random that I'm not going to like. So I let it sit there for a little bit and have like a, you know, a yearly, Christ like a Christmas list for myself. Which is smart. This Very smart. So then when it came for Christmas too, I was like, I'll just give you access to my board. And around the same time, I was like, I also have another board, no pressure, but I have another board of rings that I like. So I'm gonna just add you to that too, just in case. This was like a while back. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll just look at that <laughs> later. I really didn't look too much into that at the time, which I can say now, so. But yeah, so as far as actually picking out the cut of the diamond and everything else that she wanted for the ring, like she made it easy. But as far as actually picking out the specific diamond that's like sitting right there, and then everything that's like going into it, you really learn like about diamonds, the cuts and the colors and the depths and all of that, so. You were, that was pressure? That was pressure, like, it was really pressure. Make or break the day. Thank you, fiance. <laughs> You're welcome, fiance. <laughs> but yeah, so as far as that, that was on Friday and I first went there Friday, finalized on Wednesday. And then, so Thursday, Thursday I was supposed to go pick it up at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon because the whole thing went down. Thursday at afternoon. Thursday, like around what, four? Like four o'clock. I'll tell you the story yeah, about so four Yeah, so that went down around like four o'clock. So Wednesday, I mean, Thursday at like 12 o'clock, I was supposed to pick it up. It wasn't ready. So then I had to just make up an excuse to kind of get out because the house. Because mind you, these past couple of days, he had been at workouts longer. So I'm like, I'm like thinking about it, but I'm like, not really like, <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's, what he's doing. But I'm just like, oh, you know, you know, his friends are back. They have workouts because everybody in the agency is back, blah, blah, blah. So maybe they just, you know, kick it and talk and have boy time, you know, a little bromance after workouts and stuff. So that's what I thought. I didn't think like he has errands and stuff to run after. So yeah, I used that for my opportunity to get to the jeweler, go plan it with mom, dad, and bear. And so do all that. But yeah, so I had to make up a reason to get back out the house one last time since they were taking their sweet time to get this ring done. And this was about at 2.30, I picked up the ring at three o'clock, like officially like walked out of the jeweler at three o'clock. Mind you, we said we were gonna be at mom and dad's at four o'clock. So for that, we do weekly family Bible study at six o'clock in the evening every Thursday. I have not been feeling well. So for me, I'm like, everybody already knows I don't feel well. Like why? So the whole story was my dad said that they, American Airlines wanted to take pictures or have pictures of everyone's family to enter into a contest, you know, frontline workers entering into a contest to win a vacation, which that is happening for the workers because they are frontline workers. They never shut down. They've had to be like in the heat of everything, whatever. So I'm like, why is everybody so pressed about these pictures? Like we take family pictures all the time. I don't understand why everybody's so excited. And they're like, oh, my parents are calling me like, what you wearing? What you this, what you that? And I'm like, this is not my thing. Why is everybody asking me about the photo shoot? So I'm like being like petty Betty and just rude, just cause you know how you like, if you don't feel well, petty everything petty. just seems like extra. I had to apologize. Cause afterwards my dad was like, I'm done with you. Congratulations, but I'm done with you. But I was like, you know, in a mood and I was like, oh, so my mom's like the night before, She's like, well, you know, you guys' anniversary is next week. You should just start planning, like, just in case something happens, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, every time I bring it up with Corey, he's kind of like, okay, and like blows it off. So I'm like, I'm not getting my hopes up for anything wrong. Like, 
I'm not gonna get my hopes up because I don't wanna be disappointed if nothing happens at our anniversary. So I'm just gonna like let it in the wind and just let whatever happened happen. But I did not expect for this to happen. So she was like pressing the issue, but I just saw it as like a mom that wants something to happen. So she's trying to like, you know, make it, make it happen in her head. Meanwhile, she already knows that it's happening the next day. So she's like, I was so pissed at you. You were being so rude and all this stuff. And I told you to put on your press on nails and you were just being defiant, all this stuff. Which you was. I was because I was just like, I'm not gonna do all this stuff, get my hopes up and then be sad because I didn't get proposed to. Because my mom's just like, it just makes sense that it may be this week. Like, I just don't see him not using your anniversary. And then to put the cherry on top, our anniversary is Tuesday. Um, May 18th. So he's like, last week, he's like, oh, do we have anything to do on Tuesday? And I'm thinking in my head, like, that's our anniversary. But I'm like, no, like, just trying to see, like, <laughs> if this is a setup or what. He's like, oh, because the light man's going to come fix the, the light. Which and is I'm true. like, it is true. Tuesday, so. But I'm like, okay, so <laughs> nothing's really happening because the light man's coming to fix lights in the house on our anniversary. It was true. We they had, had me all flustered up and I was not expecting it. So when you guys saw that jaw drop, that was like the absolute jaw drop because even That's when we were walking for. in, a little did not know he was texting mom saying we were pulling up, but she comes out and I'm like, she's like half dressed, like not ready, not in the outfit that she told me she was gonna wear. So I'm like, she's not even ready. And she <laughs> wanted us to come here early for these pictures and mom's not even dressed. And he's like, woosah, babe, woosah. And she's like, oh, I, um, I'm just grabbing something out the car real quick. She's grabbing blindfolds. And she's like, I have a surprise. Wait, I want you guys to blindfold. She just did it so smooth. I did not All think right, so anything. Going, going, well, let me go into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while we were planning, you know, on the days coming back from workouts, I stop over and talk to mom, dad, and Barry. We were trying to figure out like how to make it happen to where she wouldn't know what's going on and she wouldn't see like the decorations and everything. So I had the idea of, well actually since my car was actually in the shop, so that actually kind of helped us. So we had to arrive together. So I was like, okay, well, we're gonna act like you have some big thing, like mom has some big thing planned. You know, she just got a camera for uh, Mother's Day. So she's, you know, have some big, big thing playing with the camera, like taking pictures and everything. So I'll say, okay, we'll say that. And then you just act like both of us are blindfolded. <laughs> so we had to act like we were both blindfolded and that way she wouldn't know what was going on. I'm walking and into walls and stuff. Yeah, mom was a little mom excited. Was excited. She, she was supposed to be like leading us. And he kept and letting go of my hand because I'm like, all right, so I'll lead you because mom's in front of me, like holding on to him. Like, okay, but she yeah, has a surprise for both of us. Mom kept letting go because she was just so excited and like she really almost like walked into a wall. So I kind of had to act like I was mom pushing her because mm -hmm. she couldn't know that I could still see. So that was the plan and <laughs> and then before we left, he's like, we should leave Cooper. Oh, I'm like, yeah. well, why would we leave Cooper if we're taking family pictures? He's in the family, blah, blah, blah. But then I'm, already, I'm in a mood, y'all. I'm telling you, I was in a mood the entire week. I apologize to everybody already. <laughs> I was in a mood. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not fighting this. We're going to go take these pictures and come back. Like, this is it. Yeah. Like, I'm not in the mood. I don't want to be cranky around everybody. So we're going to go take these pictures, eat, and leave. Like, true you know what so the story behind that i was trying to get cooper to stay her to keep cooper at the house because somebody has him scarred My a little bit from <laughs> cooper's scared of balloons like we had a campaign where we had balloons and everything and so after we were done somebody decided to take a knife to the balloons and, and just like, pop 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 it's so hard. now Coop is like scared of any kind of balloons. So of course there were balloons all over the place at moms and dads. So I was like, man, Coop is gonna give it away. He's gonna start barking as soon as he sees the balloons. Like we gotta think of something to like leave him here. So at first I was just like, uh, you think we should leave Coop here? Coop, uh, she's like, uh, no, we should take him with us. You know, it's a family thing. He needs to be in the pictures. So I'm like, oh, okay, fine. And then she says again, like she brings it up the next time. She's like, uh, you think we should take Cooper? No. And I'm like, well, cause I, that was after I said, 
uh, we're gonna go and come right back. And then I was like, well, we are coming right back, so. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we coming back. <laughs> we don't, we don't need, he's just gonna be running around messing up crazy. We, we coming right back, we just leave him here. So after she mm -hmm. said that, I was like, ooh, yes. One thing out the way. Yeah, and then I walked in and I still, like, I heard music playing, but mom knows that Corey likes old school music. So she's like, I'm thinking, because she got a new camera, she went and got tripods, she got all this stuff. So I'm like, maybe she just has this super dope setup that she learned on YouTube that she wants to show me, because I felt a light. I felt a light, like a box light, but I'm just like, she got some box lights and she got it all set up. So even the music and the light didn't even trigger it off. Then when they dropped the blindfold, I didn't even look at him first, because I was thinking I was about to look at some equipment. So I looked the other way first and went to him and I was like, no freaking way. <laughs> so yeah, No freaking way. Perfect. It, it, all, it really came together perfect because I had stopped by uh, mom and dad's just when I was dropping off the ring because like I said, I picked up the ring late, like three o'clock. This was supposed to happen at four o'clock. So I'm already like late rushing. So I picked up the ring so it wouldn't be in my pocket. She so wouldn't say anything like while we were on the way there. So I dropped out the ring there and I saw like the setup for like a little quick glimpse. So I didn't really get to actually look, but- And mom she did killed her thing. it. She did her thing. Like, she killed it. And, it and the craziest part is mom has never been like a decorator. It's always been my godmother and my aunt, her sister, who have always done like my birthday parties and stuff like that. Mom was more so of the like administrative person, just making sure everything was good. She but decorated. she decorated and killed it like, I was just, I was floored because honestly, I knew that we would get engaged at some point. I didn't know when, I didn't know if Corona had messed stuff up. And you guys know, you ladies know when men get flustered or like something messes up their like plan that they already had in their head, it's like, it's almost just back to square, back to square <laughs> one. Yeah. Um, so I was like, he, even if he had it in his head when he had to come home and all this stuff, it's all messed up. So I just didn't expect it. And then for this to happen, you sure got me. Perfect, thanks mom. How do you feel now? Relieved, cause first of all, so we're always like sending memes to each other and everything and like, hey, look at this and- Phones. So yeah, everywhere. just right there. So sometimes I'll be texting, like either texting the people that I told or like texting mom cause she's trying to like set up things and get things set. So I was just hoping like, please don't text, don't text, don't text. She's looking right at the and phone. And we were doing some stuff on my computer and he was like holding the phone up. I didn't even notice you getting weird though. Yeah. I was trying not to. The biggest thing I was just like at people all of things them. to me. Like, and we as a family sit and stare at each other every day. We talk all day, every day. We're always with each other. So for me to not peep anything from any of them is like still to this second mind blowing. They held it down. Like, I can't believe it. I cannot believe Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Von Crew. <sighs> well, I'm leaving them. Yeah, you, get, you gotta change that. I will no longer be that a- That signature is gonna be a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our short little story time as to how things happened. Um, if you guys have specific questions about our journey or something that you'd like us to share or a topic or whatever, um, let us know down below. Maybe we'll do like a little Q&A or something. Um, we're still in quarantine, so it ain't much about to be happening because that's just it. Um, but yeah, you guys will see in the next few smile, weeks, huh? months. Look, I, look can't I can't stop. I can't stop. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, make sure you guys are following on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. I love you guys. Peace out. Then when they dropped the blindfold, I didn't even look at him first because I was thinking I was about to look at some equipment. So I looked the other way first and went to him and I was like, no freaking <laughs> way. So yeah, No freaking way. Perfect. It, it, all, it really came together perfect because I stopped by uh, mom and dad's just when I was dropping off the ring because 
like I said, I picked up the ring late, like three o'clock. This was supposed to happen at four o'clock. So I'm already like late rushing. So I picked up the ring so it wouldn't be in my pocket. She wouldn't say anything like while we were on the way there. So I dropped out the ring there and I saw like the setup for like a little quick glimpse. So I didn't really get to actually look, but- And mom she did killed her thing. it. She did her thing. Like, she killed it. And, it and the craziest part is mom has never been like a decorator. It's always been my godmother and my aunt, her sister, who have always done like my birthday parties and stuff like that. Mom was more so of the like administrative person, just making sure everything was good. She but decorated. she decorated and killed it. Like I was just, I was floored because honestly, I knew that we would get engaged at some point. I didn't know when, I didn't know if Corona had messed stuff up. And you guys know, you ladies know when men get flustered or like something messes up their like plan that they already had in their head, it's like, it's almost just back to square, back to square <laughs> one. Yeah. Um, so I was like, he, even if he had it in his head when he had to come home and all this stuff, it's all messed up. So I just didn't expect it. And then for this to happen, you sure got me. Perfect. Thanks, mom. How do you feel now? Relieved, because first of all, so we're always like sending memes to each other and everything. And like, hey, look at this. And Phones so, yeah, everywhere. just right there. So sometimes I'll be texting, like either texting the people that I told or like texting mom because she's trying to like set up things and get things set. So I was just be hoping like, please don't text, don't text, don't text. She's looking right at the and phone. And we were doing some stuff on my computer and he was like holding the phone up. I didn't even notice you getting weird though. Yeah. I was trying not to. The biggest thing I'm was just like, people that all of them, to me. Like, and we as a family sit and stare at each other every day. We talk all day, every day. We're always with each other. So for me to not peep anything from any of them is like still to this second mind blowing. They held it down. Like, I can't believe it. I cannot believe Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my crew. <sighs> well, I'm leaving them. Yeah, you, you got to change that. I will no longer be that a... That signature is going to be a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed our short little story time as to how things happened. If you guys have specific questions about our journey or something that you'd like us to share or a topic or whatever, let us know down below. Maybe we'll do like a little Q&A or something. We're still in quarantine, so it ain't much about to be happening because that's just it. But yeah, you guys will see in the next few see weeks, months. Look I can't it. stop. I can't stop. Look at it. <laughs> I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Um, make sure you guys are following on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. I love you guys. Peace out.